we're back out here today and uh, had to build some more trunk. Uh, cutting this at an angle. I'll show you in a second where this is going. And then we're putting in the return takeoffs. So we've got these teeth on these takeoffs. Let's see here, we're going to cut another hole here, 14 inch hole. Let's put one of these in. And then we're sealing it up with mastic, as you can see here. There's that other tape off. So a lot like the uh, supply takeoffs we did downstairs earlier, this will insert into the hole. You're seeing the top part of that one. And then once we get it down in the hole, we fold these teeth down or in or whatever you want to call it that actually hold this to it and then we seal it with the mastic so now to show you um, this piece I'm cutting here is going to sit on the plenum here and extend up at an angle to uh, be joined up with that duct at some point so I'm going to show you the rest of that So now we've got this piece, it's at a slant, we've got to make it like a male end, so when we cut the hole in the plenum it'll match that. So this tool is for one inch. Um, I don't have the two inch tools like this. Um, didn't buy those when we bought the machine. So I'm going to do this by hand. So basically we're just going to cut halfway of the width of the duck board all the way around. It really doesn't matter if you go past an inch deep well that's how much we want to remove it's about an inch deep so an inch down all the way around and then we're going to leave the inside piece because we're making a male piece so we're going to come from the outside uh, want to make sure that you don't cut all the way through the duck board because you want to have that male piece so we're going to do kind of like a not really a method to that you just got to be careful not to cut all the way through so now we've got a little bit of a male edge here this could be a little deeper um, That's more like what the machine cuts out. That's the male end. So we want to go all the way around this piece here to make it look like that. I've already done that one. And here I can stay on the scrimmage line all the way across. Probably cut a little bit taller. I think that's right. Yep. Did you not want me to cut this hole out? Or yeah, I just want to wait and video. It? I just wanted to show what the what it was, but yeah, we can do that. And then we're gonna we've got this little tool here. Um so vast groove malco so it has uh, settings you can set it to cut from 
four inch to all the way up to 18 inches it's set to 14 and it's got a little razor blade in it just want to get it centered and then of course turn it the way that the blade is facing and again this is made for one inch duck board so we have to follow up with a knife and uh That gives you a groove to cut through. This comes out and then we'll put this takeoff in. So, now we've got our mail and cut to go into the plenum. Um, I think I'm going to set this back up over here. So we got our hole here in the plenum. This is not going to be an exact match. So we're going to have to make what I would call a throat to transition from what it is, is the base of this trunk piece that we've got that we cut at an angle is a little bit longer than the plenum is wide. So we're going to have to take and add in a piece to make up that gap. And actually, we have to cut off Yeah. Basically got to make a somewhat of a female end. So now we've got this gap here where the, uh, when we cut this piece at an angle, it left this gap. So we're gonna have to cut a piece to make a transition here and uh, doctor up this angle.
All right, we're up here in the attic space. And uh, got the air handler. This is the two ton down here. We gotta attach some more trunk line to this. And we're gonna move what this camera sitting on, but we're gonna extend this trunk out this way to attach that run that's going over to the bonus room and then this run too that's going over to the guest bedroom side of the house. All right, I'm back out on site today. We've uh, made this transition here. Into this run, this is for the downstairs. So this trunk line is running all the way down over here. So it's gonna serve this area here, the downstairs bedrooms, everything on the downstairs. Um, and then we'll have a, we've got to come off of that trunk here and pipe it over into this bedroom, down through this closet, through this hole and into there to serve the bedrooms downstairs. And then these take on our boots in the living room. We'll be on that. This will be on the downstairs, or excuse me, downstairs because it's serving the foyer. And we've started some return ducts. So this is a return air location. You can see the duct is running over. We didn't have enough to make it all the way to the air handler. And then we've got this one here that we're going to connect to that. We'll get a better shot of that. So this piece that's hanging down is going to connect to that other piece of flex that's laying up there. We might have to add another piece. Um, only thing we've got left on the upstairs trunks. So this is the upstairs system here. That's the plenum coming up. It's actually going over the downstairs one. This is it here. We've got the transition coming over there with the supports. And we've got to make this transition. So I'm going to show you how we put a turn or a bend or whatever you want to call it in a piece of duct. We can't get the angle of this one to match that angle. So we're going to come back to probably this section here and separate it, turn it, and then fill in the gaps. And I'll show you how we do that. So we've got this piece going over the bonus room here. And then we've got the plenum way over there for the upstairs air handler. This duct coming over here. And we've got to get this piece attached to this. So we're gonna come back to this tape seam that we made in the shop. We're gonna leave this side over here intact. We're gonna cut it all the way around and then that'll give us, we can hinge this piece over to match this angle. And then we're gonna fill in the gaps here with some duckboard. So now we've got this cut, that side's still on. This gap here, you can see what we've got here. So we're gonna have to pull all of this forward to get this far enough to make that angle. All right, so now we've got this together here. We're gonna tape it. And then this is the gap we're gonna have to fill Basically, we're gonna cut three pieces 
to fill in those gaps. Put the uh, male in on this side and uh, somewhat of a female on that side. I'm gonna go ahead and tape this seam in the meantime. So we've got the seam tape now all the way around. Biggest thing you wanna make sure when you applicate this tape, you can see this scrimmage, what I call a scrimmage in the duckboard. You wanna make sure that when you squeegee or applicate your tape, that you can see that scrim through the tape. It lets you know that you've got it, uh, that glue good and activated. You can't peel that off when you do that and it's not gonna come loose. It won't come loose without ripping the face off the duckboard, which you don't wanna do that either, but that's the point of applicating the tape to that extent. Now we're gonna work on filling that gap over there. All right, so we're here. We're gonna make this, this is uh, what I would call a throated transition or turn or hinge. Got some scrap pieces here, tape, squeegee. We've got my duck board knife. I'm gonna take and I uh, guess I'll show you the top first. Turn this down where you can get an idea of what we're doing here. So, um, we got this female end here. So we want it to be facing this side and then we're gonna make a, uh, excuse me. Yeah. So basically we're just making another section like this to go on this side. And then we'll modify the other side to match this. Yeah, this is the male. Keep keep forgetting that. So we're gonna make a female in for this side. So we're gonna get this, uh, first I'm gonna cut this to length so there's not so much in the way. That piece is in there, we just need to tape it. Now. That's what the inside looks like. We've got a nice two inches all the way across that matches what's there, other than the actual transition from the male to the female ends of there. So we're gonna fill in the rest of this in the same manner. I'll probably do the bottom first, just like this one. And then we'll fill in this cause we'll have to trim off to match this angle coming around. And then we'll fill in this gap with another piece and I'll show you the finished product. All right, so we've got the bottom done now. And this is all we've got left is this spot. So we're gonna cut a square piece and uh, put a, get a little extra hanging off here. We're gonna cut a square piece and put a female edge on it all the way around. So it'll insert right here, just like we we're making a cap for an end of a piece of duct work. And uh, then we'll mastic all of these seams to give them a good sturdy seal and uh, make sure this tape doesn't come loose under any tension that might be on it because we do have uh the electricians and plumbers that are going to come in the house after us we want to make sure we don't have to come back and retape anything all right now we've got this all done it's all mastic all the way around that 
transition it's just a bend to go down into this bonus ring and we've got this capped off now on the end